Hey guys, glad you could be here. This video is going to be a quick introduction in this new game I've been playing called Heroes of Might and Magic Era of Chaos. I am really digging this game, guys. I'm not going to lie. It's only been a few days I've been playing it, but I'm really enjoying myself. There's a ton of things to do here. PvP, PvE, uh, quick battles. So much more we're going to get into at later videos, but this one is going to be a quick little short video introducing the game to you guys, and let's get right into it. Hey everyone, welcome back, Worst F here, and I'm going to introduce you guys to a game that I've been actually addicted to for the last couple of days. It is a lot of fun. Basically, it's every game I've ever played, all condensed into one game, and it's got everything that you could ever want into a game. Now, first off, before I begin, I want to send a quick shout out to Ubisoft for sponsoring this video. Thank you very much. I really appreciate that. Now, let's get into this video, guys, because this is the first of many videos I'm going to make about this game. And this one is going to be all about the heroes, units, and battle play in this game. That's pretty much the most important part of any game that you play. What kind of heroes can you collect and how is the battle play? So let me not waste any more time, guys. Let's get right into it here. So basically, we have main heroes in the game and these are your generals this is what leads your army into battle here they don't physically participate in the battle but their abilities are always active and you can always manually use their abilities let's quickly take a look at Catherine here she is the main character that you get in the game as soon as you law as soon as you start the game and she is actually a pretty good character her speciality is iron crusaders she will take your swordsman and she will upgrade them to iron crusaders and their hp will increase by 20 percent that's her ability at one star and if you can upgrade her to two stars three stars and four stars and then as you can see she unlocks new abilities now on top of their speciality abilities each hero also comes equipped with four different Different abilities that they can use in battle some of them do damage some of them grant high morale and all other heroes do a ton of different things in the battlefield as you can see here there is so many heroes that you can choose from here so you basically have a choice of what type of team you're going to run and can uniquely build your own roster however you like now that we've looked at the heroes this is your main army these are your units here and there is a ton for you to choose from guys once you decide on the hero that you're going to use that is when you start building your army depending on how lucky you get on pulls will determine on what type of team that you build personally for me i got very lucky because i was able to draw a black knight and i was able to draw a devil here which are ssr units they are incredibly strong so i was able to build my team kind of around them now let's take a look at your units here so you can upgrade your units by upgrading their gear they automatically come equipped with gear all you have to do is farm their items on the stages and then go back and upgrade your units you can level them up you can rank them up by finding their shards in the story mode once you fill up the whole layout here then you can promote the hero to the next star level here which is incredible that's something that i really love about this game that you don't have to let wasted shards go to waste here you can actually use even if you have only half of what you need to go to the next level you can use those half get an increased attack increased hp in the meantime so that's actually pretty cool then we take a look at their skills each unit's got its own unique skills here with his ultimate and then three basic abilities as well as a faction skill they all have a different faction skill and on top of that you also get hero bonuses down here depending on what type of units you're able to put together and the heroes that go along with them as you can see here black knight goes great with lord heart so as you can see i've got the pairing of my main hero is lord heart and my main unit is black knight as you can see here speciality of lord heart here is black knight turns into death knight unit damage uh, reduction and unit damage increases by 20 percent so he does a lot for black knight which is incredible that's why i'm running him with my black knight like i said and then i surround them with different units that i think go really really well together now let's move on to the most important part guys which is a battlefield so on top of the many many different things that this game uh provides we're going to jump into the coliseum here we're going to go into arena because the other ones you need to get it to a certain level level 34 level 35 to unlock which i'm not there just yet but here we are in a battlefield we're going to go ahead and we're going to attack somebody that's uh, uh, ahead of us now so let's go ahead and take away all of my units one by one here and i'm going to show you guys how 
the gameplay works. So when it comes to battling, army formation is very important. Strategic placement on a 4x4 grid before the battle accounts for slightly more than half of the chances to win the battle. Always take a look at your opponent's army formation and take into account your hero's advantages and disadvantages and you will always improve your chances of winning the battle. Players need to choose a suitable mix of regiments and heroes according to the opponent's lineup and make targeted arrangements. This accounts for over 70% of overall strategy in the game. Let's take a look at some of the class counters. Assault regiments will counter ranged regiments, ranged regiments will counter offensive and defensive regiments, and offensive and defensive regiments will counter assault regiments. Once you place your units accordingly, the battle will commence. In an arena battle, hero skills will trigger automatically. Skills cost mana, and mana refills over time. In the battlefield, you have legions, regiments, and troops. This is the rock, paper, scissors logic. Units will behave automatically in certain ways according to types and classes. There are a total of seven different types of unit types and classes. Offensive, defensive, ranged and long ranged, magic, spellcaster, Mounted Assault Charging, Squad Stack Regiment, and Large and Epic. Specific heroes provide specific buffs to specific units when used together. Now let's take a look at some advantages that you have in the battlefield. Area of effect spells have an advantage over squad units. Squad units have an advantage over large units and large units have an advantage over area of effect spells. So depending on what your opponent is doing has a lot to do with what your strategy going into every battle is going to be. All right, so that is the battle play for you guys right there. We, we claim our spoils of victory there, and we can also take a look at the stats here, who was able to do what, and this is how you can actually take out weaker units that don't really go well with your team and adjust on what you need and what you don't need. So I love that part about this game as well here. So that's going to wrap it up for this video, guys. A quick tutorial on heroes, units, and battlefield mechanics in this game here. I will have a lot more videos coming up in the future for you guys as well. Now, those are only some of the things in this game. There's a ton of different things to do in this game, guys. Trust me, there's so many things you can do. And I will cover those in future videos here. But for now, I'm going to end it off here. Hope you guys enjoy that. And I will catch you guys on the next video. Till then, have a good morning, good afternoon, and good night.